In the early 1990s, Asian women began to break almost five decades of painful silence to demand apology and compensation for the atrocities they and others suffered under Japanese military sexual slavery during the war in the 1930s and 1940s in the Asia Pacific region. The sexual slavery experienced by the women who testified supports a finding that it constitutes crimes against humanity. The system of abductions, transportation, <coughs> rapes, and enslavement of the women were widespread or systematic. In conclusion, the judges find that the emperor knew or should have known about the crimes of sexual violence committed in Nanking and that he knew or should have known about the establishment and operation of the system of comfort stations. The emperor failed to fulfill his duty and as such is criminally liable for all of the charges lodged in the indictments with respect to the rape and sexual slavery committed by the Japanese military from 1937 until the end of the war. In addition to the individual criminal liability of the Emperor Haruhito, the judges have determined that the state of Japan is responsible under international law for the offenses presented in the indictments in accordance with Article 4 of the Charter of this Tribunal. The Tribunal notes that women, either as individuals or as a group, had no voice or status equal to men at the time of the conclusion of those peace treaties, with the direct consequence that issues of military sexual slavery and rape were inevitably left unaddressed at that time and formed no part to the background to the negotiations and the ultimate resolution of the peace treaties. The judges continue that such gender blindness in international peace processes contributes to the continuing culture of impunity for crimes perpetrated against women in armed conflict. As such, the tribunal finds that the individual victims of Japanese military sexual slavery have a right to claim compensation from the government of Japan. Today, the judges have found Emperor Hirohito guilty of crimes against Japan.会場の被害女性と傍聴人の拍手と歓声は大変なものでした。戦後、日本社会の最大のタブーであった天皇の戦争責任が初めて断罪された瞬間でした。長い沈黙の末に、やっと日本軍聖奴隷制の責任者が明
or military and governmental records concerning the establishment and the operation of the comfort system and the reasons why it was not prosecuted before the IMTFE. The tribunal will now stand adjourned until March. 判決の概要は読み上げるだけで2時間余りかかりました。天皇の個人責任と国家責任のみを認定しましたが、軍上層部の個人責任については日程を改めて最終判決で明らかにされます。